For this video, we're gonna be discussing the graphing of tangent and cotangent functions. So, umpisahin natin sa tangent function. And tangent function has this graph. Tangent function is also similar to negative cotangent function. And these two functions, the tangent function and negative cotangent function, called to be increasing functions. So, later, iko compare natin kung ano na ba yung mga decreasing functions. So, dito, focus muna tayo sa domain. Domain is x is not equal to n pi over 2, where n is the set of odd numbers. So, positive negative 1, positive negative 3, positive negative 5. Because if we're going to substitute the values of n here, let's say for example 1. So, we have pi over 2. And pi over 2 is found here. So, this is a vertical asymptote, and this is one of the restrictions of our function. So, this pi over 2 makes our function undefined, and the other values. So, negative 3 or positive 3, and positive 5 or negative 5. Then, the range is the set of all real numbers, because it is extended up to the positive infinity and up to the negative infinity. Then, let's have the cotangent function. The graph of our cotangent function is this, just the reciprocal of the graph of the tangent function. So, cotangent function naman is also similar to the negative tangent function. And these two functions are decreasing functions. Here, the domain is x is not equal to n pi, where n is the set of integers including 0. So, if we have 0, this is a vertical asymptote. If we have pi, this is also a vertical asymptote, 2 pi. Then here, negative pi, we have a vertical asymptote, and negative 2 pi, and so on. So, it is a set of integers. And for the range, it is the set of all real numbers because our graph is continuously extending up to the positive infinity and going down to the negative infinity. And in this topic, bibigyan natin ng emphasis ang ating period. Because unlike in our sine, cosine, secant, and cosecant functions, ang kanilang period is found through 2 pi over b, where b is the coefficient of our x. In this topic, the period is only pi over b. So let's recall the general equation for tangent and cotangent functions. So it is a tangent of the quantity bx plus c, plus t. Where a is the vertical stretching. So we don't have amplitude here in tangent and cotangent functions. Only the vertical stretching of the graph. Next is b. b helps us to find the period. So pi over b. c tells us the presence of any horizontal and vertical phase shift. And d tells us the vertical shift. Let's have example number one y is equal to 3 tangent x plus 1. This is an example of increasing function because it is a positive tangent. Then the vertical shift is 1. And the period is pi. Then let's have the graph of our function. So here makikita natin ang 1, the vertical shift. Then our graph or the curves of our graph is vertically stretched by 3 units. Then, dito makikita natin yung mga vertical asymptotes. Nandito siya sa pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, negative pi over 2, negative 3 pi over 2, negative 5 pi over 2, and so on. So, our domain is x is not equal to n pi over 2, where n is the set of odd numbers. So, 1, 3, 5. And our range is the set of all real numbers. For our example number 2, we have y equals negative cotangent of the quantity 1 half x minus pi plus 3. This is an example of increasing function because, because it is a negative cotangent. The vertical shift is 3. And for the period, we have the formula of pi over b. So since b is 1 half, our period is 2 pi. Now for the starting point of the phase shift, we need to equate this part to 0. So we have 1 half x minus pi equals 0. Then x is equal to 2 pi. Then after finding the starting point of the phase shift, we need to add our period to that. 
So, 2 pi plus 2 pi equals 4 pi. Then, let's have our graph. So, dito makikita natin, yung vertical shift natin ay nasa 3. So, this is the center line of our graph. And yung phase shift natin ay makikita natin simula 2 pi hanggang 4 pi. And the pattern repeats after this period. So, makikita naman natin yung mga vertical asymptotes natin ay nasa 0, nasa 2 pi, nasa 4 pi, nasa 6 pi. And negative 2 pi, negative 4 pi, and so on. Therefore, the domain is x is not equal to n pi, where n is the set of even numbers, including 0. So, the range is the set of all real numbers. And this is the end of this video. If you find this video informative, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless us all.